Let's learn Scratch. Scratch. Scratch is a software that can be used to create various games. It simplifies the concept of game creation for young students. The latest version of Scratch is Scratch 3.0. There are many other versions of Scratch too. Uses of Scratch It is used to introduce basic programming to the students. We can create fun, interactive games and animations. Starting Scratch Follow these steps to start Scratch. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Scroll down to the letter S and click on Scratch 3. The Scratch window will appear. Components of Scratch Desktop Title bar, it is at the top of the Scratch window. The right side of the title bar has three control buttons, Minimize, Maximize and Close. Menu bar, it contains options and commands such as File, Edit, Tutorial and Name of the Scratch project. Stage Area it is the area where the sprite appears and moves. In Scratch, the background is called the backdrop. Sprite Sprite is an object in Scratch that acts in the stage area as per our instructions and commands. The default sprite in Scratch is an orange cat. Go button It is the green flag above the stage area. We click on it to run a Scratch program. Stop button. It is the red button which stops running the Scratch program when we click on it. Sprites Info pane. It is present below the stage area. It displays the details of the sprites and backdrops used in a project. We can add, delete, see the name and location, increase and decrease the size of a sprite. Similarly, you can add or change the backdrop. Block menu, it contains various categories of blocks. Each block has a different function. The blocks within the same category have the same color. Coding area, it is the area where we add various blocks to create instructions for the sprite. It is also known as the script area. When we click on the first block in the script, all the blocks execute from top to bottom. Script Script is a collection of stacked blocks. It gives instructions to the sprite to perform a task on the stage. A script must have at least two blocks. Backdrop It is the background of the stage. Tabs Scratch has three main tabs. Code tab it contains the list of block categories and the blocks within them. Some block categories are motion, looks, sound, pen, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, and my blocks. All block categories are of different colors. Costumes tab. In this tab, we can change the appearance of the sprites and backdrops. Sounds tab. In this tab, you can add and change the sounds of the sprite. Blocks Scratch 3.0 consists of 9 types of blocks. These are the code commands used to create a program in Scratch. It looks like a puzzle piece and each block connects with the other blocks to perform a task. Motion Blocks we use motion blocks to control the movement of a sprite. They are blue in color. Example, we will use the motion block to move a sprite 40 steps forward. We can change the number of steps. To make the sprite move backwards, give a minus, dash, sign before the number as shown. This will move the sprite 20 steps back on the stage. Looks block. The blocks that are used to add speech and thought bubbles to the sprite by using looks block. They are purple in color. 
Example, if you want to add speech to the sprite for 3 seconds with the message good morning, follow the instructions. Events block. We use events block to sense events, which helps to run the script. They are yellow in color. Example, block is used to activate the script. Adding a sprite. The default sprite one in Scratch is a cat. The sprite cat is present at the center of the stage. We can add another sprite to the stage. Step 1. Click on the Choose a Sprite tool in the Sprites Info pane. The Choose a Sprite window will appear. Step 2. Click on a Sprite to add it to your project. Here we have added a balloon. Notice that there are now two Sprite thumbnails in the Sprites Info pane. Changing the Backdrop To change the backdrop, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the Choose a Backdrop tool in the Sprites Info pane. Choose a Backdrop window will appear. It displays the thumbnails of the available backdrops. Step 2. Click on a backdrop to add it to the project. Here we have added a blue sky backdrop. The thumbnail of the backdrop appears in the Sprites Info pane. Creating a new project. Follow these steps to create a new project. Step 1. Click on the File tab. A drop-down menu appears. Step 2. Select New. A new project will open. Changing appearance of the sprite. The appearance of the sprite can also be changed. Follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the Costumes tab. An image of the selected sprite will appear in the tab. Step 2. Click on the Fill button. Step 3. Choose any color from the Fill drop-down menu and click on the sprite where you want that color. You can add different colors to different areas of the sprite. Step 4. Click on the Code tab to go back to the coding area. Creating a Scratch Project We will create a Scratch project in which two sprites will move and talk to each other. Step 1. Click on the Cat Sprite. Drag the Look Speech Bubble block to the coding area. Type a message in the text box of the block. Step 2. Click on the Frog Sprite. Drag the Look Speech Bubble block to the coding area. Type a message in the text box of the block. Step 3. Drag the motion block to the coding area. When you bring this block below the speech block, it will attach itself. Change the number of steps to 20 in the text box of the block. Step 4. Add the event block onto the top of the script. Step 5. Click on the green flag and see the cat and frog talk and move. Saving a project. Follow these steps to do so. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Select the Save to your computer option. The Save as dialog box will appear. Step 3. Open the location where you want to save the project. Type the name in the File Name box. Click on Save button. Opening a project. Following are the steps to open an existing project. Step 1. Click on File. Step 2. Select Load from your computer option. The open dialog box appears. Browse the location of your project and select the name. Step 3. Click on Open button to open the project. Exiting Scratch. To exit Scratch. Click on the close button present on the title bar. If you have an unsaved project, Scratch will ask you to save it. If you click on the stay option, it will bring you back to the Scratch screen. If you click on the leave option, Scratch window will close. 